Hello, I'm Meli for edu for java and in this tutorial we're going to see parameters and the get and post method in surplus. The parameters are the way that the client has to send information to the HTTP server. For example, here the user and the password which hasn't got asterisk here so that you can see it. When you click on send, this information goes to the server. It is received by a server container, in our case. This information can be sent by two methods, get and post. The first thing I'm going to do is create a page HTML called dot login inside web apps. First servlet, and here we're going to create it. Login HTML. We're going to edit it and we're going to copy this this code we have in the page. Control S. As you can see, it's a simple form with an input input name user. Name is going to name the parameter which is sent. And here we have another input, the same with password. Once we have this, we start the server. If you remember, here in bin, we are startup. Once we have it running, we write localhost 8080 first servlet login HTML. And here we have our page. As we can see here, this form is going to a URL called login. So we have to create a servlet which attends in that URL. We're going to copy this code, which is the code of the servlet, into our project. Okay, let's have a look at this code. This servlet has a do get method which has a request that has all the information from the client. This request has a get method, get parameter method which if we give him the name of the parameter we want him to get. In this case, it returns, a, in this case, the user. It returns a string with a parameter and we keep it in a variable called user. The same with password. Here in this logic, uh, what I do is if the user is equal to edu4java and pass, which is the variable where I keep the password, is equal to le4java, I call a method response, which is the one which is going to generate the page which we're going to return. And here I tell him login is okay, the password and the user match. And invalid login if they don't match. In this method response, we send the parameter response, which we had said that it was a HTTP server response. From the response, we can obtain the writer as in the last example, and print whatever we want. We print the HTML structure, and in the middle of the body, we print a T1 with a title and a message. This message is sent as a parameter. In one case, it will be logging OK, and in the other case, it will be invalid logging. Now we have to copy the dot 
class the compilation of this to the server. Here in the window, we can go to show view other general navigator. Okay. This perspective doesn't hide any information. Here we can see the bin and the source. The bin directory, which we, can, we can't see in the package explorer. The bin directory has the compiled files. Here we are. Here we can copy this file and paste it in web apps. Web apps, first let, servlet, webinf, classes, com, edu for Java, servlet, here, paste. Here we are. Now we have to modify the web XML. We have to link the new servlet with a new mapping. We can copy the code from the page. Here it is. We can copy everything. We can copy everything and we can see the modifications. Here we are. What we have new is a new servlet login servlet which, with a new mapping of the servlet with the URL slash login. Okay, let's restart the server. We close the window. We go to the server, bin, startup. Okay, it's running. Now that we've got the server running, we go to the um, we go to the page and we write x x for example. Send, and the server that attends us and it gives us. Embodied login. We go back and we write edu for Java, Daneli for Java, send, login OK. Here we have something really bad. The password should be secret. Anybody who comes after me can see this in the history in the URL. This is happening because we are using the do get method. We can see this in the login HTML here we have the method get. If we change this for post control S and we reload the page we go back reload X X send we get an error. This the HTT post is not supported by this URL. Why is this happening? Because here in the code we have implemented the method do get, but we can also use a do post method, which is called when the call is to post. If we just change This for do post. We are going to be able to make it work. Control S. We have to save so that the dot class class is kept here. Okay. Control. Well, we copy. We paste into the server as before. Copy and replace. Going to restart the server. We go back in the page once it's started. Refresh X X send and invalid login. If we write Edu for Java, Nelly for Java, send, login, OK. And we can see that 
there's no the the we can't see the parameters here. We can't see the password. The post method doesn't use the URL to send the parameters. It sends them inside the HCT package, so we don't see it in the URL. Okay, and uh, this is all for this tutorial. See you in the next one. Bye.